Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe? Well, we might be one step closer to finding out. Meet K2-18b, a distant planet that scientists are really excited about. Thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST for short, we're learning some amazing things about it. The JWST has found some interesting stuff in K2-18b's atmosphere, like water vapor, methane, and even something called dimethyl sulfide. These aren't just random chemicals, they could be signs of life. The James Webb Space Telescope is like a superhero for space exploration. It has super advanced technology that helps us see faraway places in the universe, hoping to answer questions about life beyond Earth. So, are you ready to explore this mysterious planet with us? Let's dive into the world of K2-18b. As we search the universe for answers, we need our amazing tools like the James Webb Telescope to help us see what's out there. For years, the Hubble Space Telescope has been our window to the stars, showing us stunning images and helping us learn more about space. But now, the James Webb Telescope is here to take us even further. Join us on this exciting journey as we explore K2-18b and the possibilities of life beyond our planet. One of the coolest features of the James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is its special sun shield. But this isn't just any sunshade, it's super smart engineering. This sun shield is as big as a tennis court. It blocks heat from the sun, earth, and even the moon. Why is that important? Because it helps the telescope stay really, really cold. When it's super cold, JWST can pick up faint signals from faraway stars and planets. These signals are in infrared light, which is really important for studying distant worlds like K2-18b. Unlike regular light, infrared waves can see through space dust, giving us clearer pictures. This means we can learn a lot more about faraway places. So, what will we find when we look at K2-18b? This exoplanet is 124 light years away in the constellation Leo. It's not just any distant rock, it has some exciting features. You might have heard of the Goldilocks zone. This is the perfect area around a star where it's not too hot and not too cold, making it just right for liquid water to exist. K2-18b orbits its star in this special zone. But what makes it different from other planets? K2-18b is what scientists call a heme world. This means it has a thick atmosphere full of hydrogen and a surface covered by a big ocean of water. Isn't that fascinating? The James Webb Space Telescope is helping us uncover the secrets of these distant worlds. We're stepping into a new chapter in our search for alien life. Some distant planets might have conditions similar to those found around hot underwater vents on Earth. These vents are home to many unique living things. Recent observations from the James Webb Space Telescope have given us amazing details about K2-18b's atmosphere. We found water vapor, methane, and even hints of a chemical called dimethyl sulfide. The atmosphere of K2-18b is like a special mix of ingredients that could support life, or at least life we don't know about yet. This discovery has scientists buzzing with excitement. They're thinking about what these findings mean for our understanding of life in the universe. Could this amazing world be the key to solving the mystery of extraterrestrial life? What could its unique conditions tell us about the future of studying life beyond Earth? Exploring exoplanets like K2-18b is challenging but super rewarding. One of the toughest parts is studying their atmospheres. Earth's atmosphere is mostly made of nitrogen and oxygen, but K2-18b is very different. It has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere with some water vapor, methane, and maybe even dimethyl sulfide. K2-18b is a treasure trove for scientists. Each discovery helps us learn more about the universe and the possibilities of life out there. Studying the atmosphere of a planet that's over 100 light-years away is not easy. But scientists have a special tool called spectroscopy to help them. Spectroscopy looks at the light from a planet's parent star as it shines through the planet's atmosphere. Different molecules in the atmosphere absorb light in unique ways, like a fingerprint. This helps scientists figure out what the atmosphere is made of. The James Webb Space Telescope is really good at this because it can see infrared light. One of its tools, called the Mid-Infrared Instrument, or MIRI for short, can detect a wide range of molecules that we couldn't see before. On K2-18b, scientists found methane and noticed there's very little ammonia. This has them wondering about what kind of life could exist there. On Earth, methane is often made by living things. So, finding it on K2-18b makes us think there could be life forms that thrive in a hydrogen-rich environment, which we've never seen before. The atmosphere of K2-18b also suggests there might be an ocean beneath its surface. This raises exciting questions about how the atmosphere and ocean interact. Could the way its atmosphere works help us understand life beyond Earth? When we think about life, we usually picture Earth-like places. But life can exist in environments we can't even imagine. 
scientists study extremophiles, organisms that live in extreme conditions. This helps us learn about the possibilities of life in all kinds of places. K2-18b is teaching us so much about the universe and what it means to be alive. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing discoveries in space. Did you know that deep in Earth's oceans, there are places called hydrothermal vents? These vents release hot, mineral-rich water, creating an environment without sunlight but full of life. At these vents, some amazing creatures called extremophiles live. These include thermophiles and acidophiles, which challenge our ideas about what life needs to survive. Now, could similar life forms exist on planets like K2-18b? This planet has a hydrogen-rich atmosphere that might support life we've never seen before. On Earth, there are microbes called methanogens that make methane in places without oxygen. If K2-18b has methane produced by living things, it could be a world where hydrogen-loving extremophiles thrive. The study of extremophiles shows us that life can exist in many different places, from the acidic rivers in Spain to the icy tundras of Siberia. This diversity makes us rethink where we might find life beyond Earth. With a possible ocean beneath its surface and a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, K2-18b is a fantastic target for exploring extremophiles in space. Maybe this distant planet has its own version of extreme life, adapted to its unique conditions. If extremophiles do exist on K2-18b, what might they look like? On Earth, life started with simple single-celled organisms and evolved into complex creatures. Could something similar happen on other planets too? K2-18b opens up exciting possibilities for understanding life in the universe. What if there's a special chemical on K2-18b that could hint at life? One of the most interesting possibilities is a compound called dimethyl sulfide, or DMS for short. On Earth, DMS is made by tiny marine plankton. It could be a sign of life. So, if we find DMS on K2-18b, it might mean there's life there too. DMS does a lot of important things. When it gets into the atmosphere, it can help form clouds. If we detect it in the atmosphere of K2-18b, it could change everything in our search for extraterrestrial life. Right now, scientists are trying to find out if DMS really is on K2-18b. The James Webb Space Telescope has a special tool that can look for complex molecules like DMS, but figuring it out takes a lot of careful work. The discovery of DMS has excited many scientists, but it's also sparked some debate. Some are really hopeful, while others are more cautious. Some scientists think DMS is a strong sign of life, but others remind us that non-living processes can also create similar compounds. This shows how tricky it can be to understand data from other planets. Throughout history, big discoveries in astronomy have often been met with skepticism. For example, when Galileo discovered the moons of Jupiter, many people didn't believe him at first. As we explore K2-18b, we're learning more about the universe and the potential for life. Throughout history, many big discoveries have faced skepticism. For example, when the first exoplanet was discovered in 1995, many scientists were cautious and didn't believe it right away. This shows us that questioning is a key part of science. The search for alien life doesn't rely on just one molecule or finding. Scientists are looking for a mix of signs, called biosignatures, to build strong evidence that life might exist. Could DMS be one piece of a bigger puzzle, along with other biosignatures like methane and water vapor? The debate will go on until we get more data. As technology improves, future missions with even better instruments may help us confirm if DMS is truly a sign of life. Is DMS the key we've been looking for in our quest to find alien life? Or is it just a distraction? Either way, the discussion shows how science is always evolving. The James Webb Space Telescope has changed how we see planets like K2-18b, but it's just the beginning of our journey in space exploration. What's next? The extremely large telescope, set to be completed by 2025, will be a game changer. It will have a giant mirror that's 128 feet wide. This telescope will be the largest of its kind, and its incredible sensitivity could help confirm or disprove the biosignatures found by the James Webb Telescope. There's also another mission called the Large UV Optical IR Surveyor, or LUVOIR, that will work alongside these technologies to explore even more. The future of space exploration is exciting, and we can't wait to see what we discover next. The James Webb Space Telescope has made amazing discoveries, but that's just the beginning. Soon, another telescope called LUVOIR will help us learn even more about the atmospheres of faraway planets. LUVOIR can look at many different wavelengths, which means it can give us detailed images and data about exoplanets. As we explore more distant planets, new technology will be super important. 
For example, ion propulsion and even ideas like antimatter propulsion could help us reach these planets much faster, maybe within our lifetime. We've talked about the challenges of traveling to other stars before, but let's think about what these discoveries mean for us. What does finding alien life say about our place in the universe? And what new questions will arise as we learn more? One interesting idea is about red dwarf stars. These stars are small and dim, but could they actually be where life starts? Their long lifespans make them good candidates for hosting life. If we find life, like alien plankton, on another planet, it would change everything. It would show us that the building blocks of life might be everywhere, not just on Earth. What will the next decade bring? Will we find alien life, or will we discover new questions that challenge everything we think we know about the universe? The journey to understand the cosmos is just getting started. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting updates on our quest for knowledge.